five PB Fit in the driver's seat right now. Strong, aggressive push. PB Fit's been doing a really good job with this center release with Mike Diaz, number 25 from PB Fit. Played outstanding yesterday and had a big point for them in their comeback. But they do lose Colt Luke out. They do lose Diaz. Oh, little commentator curse there. Sorry about that, Diaz. So PB Fit drops two bodies right now, having three. But Carolina Crisis also drops another body. So I, I believe that makes it a three on two. Right now, definitely better field position for PB Fit as they are in. They are, so PB Fit is in the Dorito 4. So right past the 50-yard. They're actually in Crisis Dorito 4. So good job, a Dorito side player for a PB Fit. I don't think he knows that Crisis has made the move into the snake. So, so they have to be careful because the snake does have a little bit of a cross shot. So PB Fit player looking, doesn't quite see the snake player yet. Oh, so Scott Stewart moves into the snake or PB Fit, but the problem is the crisis player can see the PB Fit player in the Dorito. So if he just looks, Scott Stewart uh, recognizes the other side. Oh, and absolutely destroys the back of the crisis player. Phenomenal move. Oh, and gets another one. Great shot. Scott Stewart gets all three players, gets a three-pack in that. Absolutely. And he is absolutely pumped right now. Dirty Stew coming through and getting that three-pack. Phenomenal move there to put PB Fit on top over Crisis right now. So PB Fit up three to one on Crisis. And this is what they needed to do. Yesterday, down on themselves a little bit, um, ha you know, not really having the day they wanted. And then they're coming back today, reinvigorated, fired up. I, I mean, all morning, I've heard them in their pits, absolutely going nuts. They need to have a good day today. And it looks like they're fired up to do it. Back on the field right now is going to be Mutiny and A-Team. Again, big match here. Both teams looked really good going 2 and 0. Oh. So this match right here you know could shift the momentum for one team. If you go 2 and 0 oh on Friday, you know, and you lose your first match, some teams can recover from that and some teams can't. So this could be this could be a chance for someone to go, you know, go 4 and 0 oh, going into Ochos, going into Sunday. But great breakout 5 on 5 paintball both teams right now. Oh, so first body to drop is going to be from Mutiny. Great tactical retreat from the A-team player to go all the way around. And it's Adams again. Adams absolutely getting in this snake early and often, causing some chaos. He's going to shoot across the field. It looks like he's going to get the he's going to get the Drio side player. Is he also going to get the tower player? So they, they have not picked up the fact that A-team got a player into the snake. Adams shooting across the field, trying to shoot that tall tower on Drio's side. Oh, but he does get caught. So great job by the, I believe that was the tower player standing up, shooting the drop shot. Oh, and they also get number 54, Cunningham. Um, great last name out of the 40-yard wedge. So bad death from Cunningham there. He needed to be the stopgap on this snake side. Unfortunately, um, that puts, I believe that's going to put a team at, only three bodies left alive against Mutiny's. Uh, I think Mutiny also has three. Nope, they did have a player walk off, so it's, I believe it's 3v3 right now. A little bit of snake battle going on right now. As number 88 from Mutiny's in the snake. A team, good retreat back to the home. Try to contain that snake player. Now. A team has to be careful because Mutiny does have a player behind him defending him, looking down the wire. But the Mutiny player is all the way into A team's side of the field. As soon as he shoots his gun, the A team is going to realize that someone's in his snake. And there he goes. Great job by the Mutiny snake player, number 88, to get that body. He's going to wrap around. Oh, and so he sees him now. So, so. Looks like Rodriguez backing up in the snake two right now. It, or Mutiny all the way in. Oh, but he does get dinked out. Wow. Oh, and a, and a bad death. So AT turned the field, ran down the Drio side, and then shot Rodriguez in the back of the head. 
Great job by 18's Dorito side player to recognize what was going on, go down the field and get those shots. Phenomenal. That's good team communication right there. Good job. That's number 23 from the A team. Great job. Great job by A team all around. So, I mean, you just got to be careful right now. A team starting to run away with it a little bit. So, if you're not familiar with the game of paintball as we play it right now, semi pro, uh, semi -pro is Mercy Rule 5. Um, and they they do have ties. So they do not go into overtime. So they have to be careful here because once you start going up points and that momentum starts to swing a little bit, it's sometimes hard for teams to come back. So right now, Annapolis A team up three on mutiny. PB Fit going back on the field uh, with Carolina Crisis also up three to one. And PB Fit needs this right now. PB Fit needs to go 2-0 and on the day to have a chance to make it into Sunday. So on, on the field here, looks like we got Trent Mason, Scott Stewart. Looks like Mike Diaz, Colt Lucal. I believe Brody over there on the Rio side. So great five on five breakout right now from both teams. Scott Stewart over here in the corner. Uh, over on the snake corner for PB Fit. Price is making the first move up the gut to mirror Mike Diaz. Everyone kind of stuck in the pocket right now, not wanting to make a mistake, especially Carolina Crisis, um, who had a very good game yesterday. Like I said, they went one and one. So Crisis, a little better field position than Dorito one. Also in the snake corner. They're in the, the can in the middle, at that kind of 20-yard line can. They are in the back center bunker, which we're calling the home. Oh, but big move up the middle from Colt Lukau. Going up to that, we'll say 40-yard, 30-yard Aztec in the middle. Crisis is the first one to drop a body. Big move by Brody all the way to the Dorito 3. Great move. So follow that up. Scott Stewart, or excuse me, Mike Diaz follows that up. So right now, much better field positions for PB Fit. Mike Diaz makes another big move to the 50 brick right now. Carolina Crisis losing another body. So I believe that's going to be, it's five on three right now. PB Fit absolutely in the driver's seat. Great job filling into the snake by Trent Mason. So... I mean, this Carolina Crisis player is stuck in the corner. Also, they don't realize that, oh, they do now. So so Trent Mason missed his first engagement. Now moving into Crisis Snake side. In Crisis Snake 2 here. Could get another kill. So that's a two on five right now. PB Fit absolutely looking dominant right now. So what, five bodies alive on that point. PB Fit looking absolutely dominant right now. So little, just a little more than eight minutes left, in, or a little, little around eight minutes left in the match for Carolina Crisis and PB Fit. I mean, Crisis has to be careful. They are, they are down now three points. Getting into that, get, getting real close to that mercy rule. Um, two more points away from that mercy. Hopefully, Crisis can rally back and put up a couple points on PB Fit as margin does become the name of the game uh, for Saturday. So now on the field, we're going to have eight team and mutiny. Similar situation for mutiny. Eight team up by two right now. Mutiny is. Uh, only has one point. And after such a dominant performance yesterday by Mutiny, this is kind of uncharacteristic of them. Looks like McDonald out there. Rodriguez out there for Mutiny. McDonald had some huge moves yesterday up the center. McDonald's wearing the Skull JT uh, Pro Flex. And I always love those. Back in the day, I believe Damian Ryan started that that trend with the at the skull on the when he played for Infamous, and uh, they're one of the most iconic uh, masks. So, rocking the JT Proflex over there, McDonald looking swagalicious. 
So A team here, continuing this dominance. They are really pushing the snake side hard with Adams. This one, two punch, they have Adams, they have Kim, followed up with Cunningham over here on the snake side, doing really well. So let's see who else, let's see who's gonna step up right now for Mutiny. Who's gonna make it a point? As we get ready for the breakout here. Huge move by Mutiny into Snake off the break, straight into Snake 3. Wow, absolutely amazing. A-Team does stop up short but at the insert bunker, but big move from uh, A-Team into Dorito 3. Looking across the field right now. Oh, Mutiny does lose their Snake Corner player, so right now they have to be careful. Oh, Mutiny loses another player, so it's 3 on 5 right now in favor of A-Team. So Mutiny going all the way in, great move. Oh, a little bit of snake battle developing right now as both players are in the 50. Oh, wow, great job, great job by the A-team snake player to recognize, check off, realize he wasn't getting any pressure, move down the field. Adam's just absolutely stunting out here today. Already, and it's the first match of the day, he already looks good. If I was 18 right now, I'd be afraid to lose Adams to a pro team because if I'm watching this, if I'm watching this live cast back, this live stream, whoo, Adams looking, Adams looking good. So that being said, 18 loses, or excuse me, Mutiny loses another body right now. 18 does lose their final, uh, does drop a body finally. Adams all the way into 18's side of the snake and 18 snake too, looking across the field. There is a mutiny player left somewhere in the Doritos. Oh, but he gets dinged out. McDonald was in the Dorito. He does get dinked out. Not loving the extra ball he just got. Given a team a little bit of a piece of his mind. So great job by a team closing that one out. Just right around. Five minutes, 30 seconds roughly left in this A-Team Mutiny game and A-Team running away with it. So again, both these games, very similar in how they're being played out. So PB Fit up four to one on Crisis, A-Team up four to one on Mutiny. Not what we thought we would see so far in this game. Especially as dominant as Mutiny was yesterday, but A team showing why they are the top spot. So as you can see on your screen right here on the right hand side, PB Fit. And the depth of PB Fit's roster lined up heavy off the break. Great dive into the snake corner. They do get a crisis body off the break. Great job by PB Fit and their shooting. Running ref is going in, checking the corner there, of the, but he's clean. So PB Fit player, good job. Great communication. Scott Stewart up the middle there. Colt Lukeout communicating across. Trent Mason engaging with the tall can, stand-up can on the crisis side of the field. Colt Lukeout does drop a body though. Oh, that's a, that's a hard loss right there for PB Fit as Lukau is one of their all-star players. But they do move out. So Trent Mason moves out from the insert bunker straight into the snake. So great move by Trent Mason to get into the snake. He has to be careful. Check off in the lane so there's no drop shots. But he does get into the 50 snake. Great job. Looks across the field. Is he going to get the shot? He, oh, he, he misses the shot. Does not get the shot on the Dorito side player. He's looking for it. They know he's there now. They picked him up. The can player on the crisis side of the field knows that he's there. So Scott Stewart in the middle there trying to do his best to hold them off. Brandon Rogers here in the corner, looking down, defending Trent Mason right now to make sure that Trent doesn't get run down. Oh, great job. So Scott Stewart gets the kill across field that frees up Trent Mason to move down the field. 
But I do know he's oh, so this camp tall cam player. Oh, what a shot by Trent Mason. Oh, he's he's definitely shot. Oh, all right. Getting peppered up a little bit. Oh, that guy is woo. So Trent Mason definitely got that kill. Uh, unfortunately, the crisis player was able to tuck in. But they do lose Rogers behind him as well. And the last player left alive here for PB Fit on the Dorito side. It looks like it's going to be a three on one in favor of Crisis. As I believe that's Chavez on the Dorito side does not realize that he's lost his entire snake side. Oh, I take that back. Scott Stewart moved out to the corner, but he gets picked off. Crisis jumping over the top, trying to see where the players are. I don't know if they've... Oh, and they get Chavez as well. So Crisis runs that in. So Crisis coming back a little bit. So that's going to make it a little bit of a closer game. PB fit four. Crisis now has two. So great job by Crisis to hold fast after that strong attack from PB fit. So... We have a team coming back on the field right now with Mutiny. No love lost between those two teams right now. As a team is giving Mutiny a little bit of love when they come off the field. So, and by a little bit of love, I mean some extra paintballs, everybody. So, if you're looking at the field right now, we have uh, some names that we're going to commonly go over. And if you're if you're not familiar with paintball, the name of the game is actually not to shoot all the players. The name of the game is to go from your start box to the opponent's start box and hit the buzzer. Um, sometimes you can score a point with players being alive. But in the semi-pro division, it is savages eating, so they always want those kills. So big breakout here from 18 on your screen. You got Kim in the insert bunker right here. Adams followed up behind him. Phenomenal one-two punches, working really well. But Mutiny makes a huge move into the Doritos, flying in there at the, at the top of your screen. So look for Mutiny to try to get that cross field kill. Now, they, now uh, Cunningham for A-Team is in the middle. He moved to the, the little mini, that mini W right there in the middle, looking cross field. He's trying to contain a oh, great move out by Kim to get into this snake. Mutiny does drop a body though. So does A team, so it's, it is even body count right now. So that's Gehringer coming off the field right now for A team. There's snake battle developing right now as Mutiny's got into the snake. He moves in the snake three. They're all mirrored up in the snake. Kim is in the 50 snake right now. I'm trying not to be too loud because they can. can. Oh, great engagement. So, so. Oh, what a shot. So Kim gets the crossfield shot. Oh, ooh, that's definitely a penalty. Yeah, there we go. So good job. So great job. And another minor. Wow. So A team. Oh, that's a that is a heartbreaker. So what just happened? What you just seen go down. All that action is the Mutiny player makes a phenomenal move, comes down, bunkers the snake player. Kim, for the A-team, Kim, Kim spins. Yeah, yeah. So the ref will just give me an update, confirming it was a spin. So Kim spins on the A-team the player, shoots him. That is a major penalty. So it causes him to lose his player. So right now, a little because of all that chaos, players really don't know what's going on. So they're trying to check the field off right now. They're trying to make sure, trying to make sure that all the bodies are dead. Obviously, big game here. Both teams going two and zero. Oh. So concession looks like going to be a concession here by Mutiny as A-Team, even after the chaos, still had one body left alive. So as you can see, all the action that we are gonna have coming up. Going out of the field right now, Carolina Crisis. Seconds. 
10 seconds. Break out here on your right hand side from Carolina Crisis in their green jerseys. Oh, but the Crisis player in the center loses his first engagement. But PB Fit also loses a player, so making a four on four right now. Great move here by the Carolina Crisis player to get into the Doritos. Mirrored up quickly by the PB Fit player. So for 24. Drum Crisis making the big move into the 40-yard line wedge on the snake side, holding off. So PB Fit does lose another body. Ref, running ref coming in to look at Colt Lukau in the middle. He's clean. Oh, they do lose Trent Mason, so that's going to make it. Right now, it's going to make it a four-on-two in favor of Crisis coming on the field. Mike Diaz and Colt Lukau left. They don't realize that they've already made it up so far into them. They do now. Oh, and Colt Lukau absolutely gets peeled off. Mike Diaz trying to make a oh and just runs to his death, unfortunately, trying to make the move. But he does get a shot. He does get a shot on the crisis player. So that drops one crisis player. But Carolina Crisis had three bodies left, making this a close match. Now, PB Fit has to be careful. They were running away with this one. They've let Crisis come back and score two unanswered points. So let's see what PB Fit can do and adjust to make sure that they don't let Crisis come back in this match. This would be a huge comeback for Crisis as they went one and one on the day. PB Fit went oh one and one, so they need this win and they need this win big to even have a chance to move on to Sunday. Point differential is a huge factor right now. Um, on Saturday, teams can move on or go home based on one point. So on your screen right now, looking at Annapolis A team going over a couple adjustments. Looks like they have 54 on 54 Cunningham. Looks like that Adams out there trying to read the backs of the jerseys for everybody right now. Number 12, number 17, number 23 out there right now. So, oh, so they do lose their snake player going in, but phenomenal job by Cunningham as he gets right into the snake to fill that up. So oh, running ref coming in to check the back center player and a minor penalty on the back center player. They'll pull both of their center players. So Cunningham is out here by himself, but he does get a good crossfield shot. On the mutiny player, mutiny storming up the Dorito side right now. Not much of a not much of a snake attack, but mutiny also loses a player on the Dorito side of the field. So right now, Cunningham in the snake, trying to move across. Great fill out. Great fill out by the mutiny player. So right now, all the bodies getting checked off. Cunningham moving down the snake side. Oh, but didn't realize that the Mutiny player had moved into the insert bunker. Mutiny's checking the field off. He's recognized only Dorito 1 players left. So great shot from the Mutiny player in this snake, number seven, to get that cross field Dorito kill in Dorito 1. And that is what they needed to do. So Mutiny, a little bit mounting a little bit of a comeback now, but it might be too little too late as they have around two minutes left in the match. Score for Indianapolis Mutiny, an 18 match is gonna be five to two now. PB Fit on the other hand, three to four. Uh, they were up a bunch of points. They've let Crisis come back and score two unanswered points. So great job here. So going back in the field right now is going to be Carolina Crisis, PB Fit. Got to be careful, though, right now. PB Fit allowing Crisis to come back. Now, Crisis has quite a stacked roster. 
And these guys know how to come back. So they have to be careful. The strong push right here from the veteran players on the crisis, like Eddie Dawes or Dawes and Freeze. Oh, but it looks like five on five breakout right now for both teams. But Crisis making the first big move up into the 40 yard line. Dorito stacking up both the 40 line, 40 yard line, Dorito and Dorito three. On your screen right now, you have Colt Lukow and Brody trying to shoot the cross field. Mike Diaz up the middle. Stewart, Scott Stewart in the corner, followed up by Trent Mason in the insert bunker to the snake. They do get a kill on that crisis player going push on Dorito's side, but the counter punch right now, they're in the crisis in the 50 brick and also in the 40 yard line snake bunker. So Scott Stewart needs to do a good job right here working through and getting those players out. So Crisis has both 50-yard line bricks on the snake side and the Drito side right now. Fit has to be careful. They are letting Crisis move all over them right now, which is not good. Great field positions right now. They're communicating back. Old PB. So PB Fit makes a big fail out right now. Good job by Trent Mason getting into the snake, shooting across field. He needs to get. Oh, but he looks. Oh, man, that's a, that's a tough one. He bounces the player in the 50 brick. Unfortunately, did not break. So the 50, so the player in the 50 yard line brick on the snake side knows that Trent is there. He is pumping a bunch of paint through that lane, waiting for him to move. Great fill out for the PB fit players on the Drito side. Now Trent Mason playing a little wide here. He's got to be careful because if he takes that next bump, oh, but the, but the great job by Trent Mason. Carolina crisis player comes off of that lane, puts his gun down. Trent Mason takes advantage of the move. But he has to be careful. Carolina Crisis losing another player on the Drito side. They finally clip out. So it was a great shot by Mike Diaz to get the 50-yard line player out on the Dorito side. The battle right now going down between Mason and number 85 from Carolina Crisis. Oh, great job from the Dorito player from PB Fit who clips out in number 85 on Crisis in the move. So right now, big push on the Dorito side coming down. I think that's Brody, I believe, for PB Fit. Making that move, Mason Trent Mason now in the 50-yard line and a concession from Carolina Crisis to try to save some time as they're going to have under two minutes left to go in this match. Only down by two, so definitely still doable. But PB Fit needed that point. They needed to swing the momentum. They needed to make sure that... They did not allow Crisis to start coming back down on them. And Crisis originally had the better positions on the field. They had both the 50-yard line bricks. They were coming down on Drio's side. And just some great clutch by uh, moves by Brody and by Mike Diaz to hold off the attack. On the field now, we have 18 and Mutiny. A little bit, little bit of a runaway game going on right now. Mutiny was able to come back and score a point to keep it close, but A-team, A-team up three right now, so five to two with around two minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. So five on five breakout right now. Mutiny, want, Mutiny player wanting to make the move into the snake. But he's stuck at the insert bunker. A team going down the Drio side of the field. You see in your camera right now, those big props in the middle. Oh, Mutiny is first, per, first to drop the body. As you can see on the, the top right corner of your screen, Mutiny player in the Dorito trying to figure out a way to get down there. Now, A team does have a, number 54, Cunningham. Um, oh, phenomenal move into the snake. So Cunningham is locking down that Dorito, that Dorito side. Number 10, Kim from A-team. Pass Snake 2 into Snake 3. Mutiny follows that up. So Mutiny, oh, phenomenal job. Mutiny in the 40-yard line. Snake picks up Kim trying to move, and he also gets Adams. The, saving the day right now is Rodriguez, I believe, double O from Mutiny, who absolutely <laughs> demolished in the snake side all by himself. Now, number 88 from Mutiny, moving up into the snake, trying to get a shot on, I believe it's number 12, I want to say, from 18. 18 does get the shot on the snake player. Oh, wow, great. So 
Number 12 from 18 gets the shot on 88 from Mutiny, but then gets his head peeled off from Rodriguez. 60 seconds left to go. They need to try to, Mutiny needs to try to put this point on the board right now. Rodriguez gets another kill on Cunningham, number 54. But it looks like, looks like it devolved to a one-on-one -on -one battle right now. Rodriguez trying to get the buzzer, but the 18 player trying to protect the lead right now. Oh, and the 18 player wins the one-on-one. -on -one. Rodriguez, after a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal point there, unfortunately, lost the one-on-one. -on -one. So 18 player going to run down for points margin and try to score the point. He's looking at the clock right now. So he's going to wait till the absolute last second to hit the buzzer. Great job by 18. They're going to take that match 6 to 2, making them 3 and 0 oh so far. Indianapolis Mutiny will go 2 and 1. Mutiny has to be careful because uh, they only have one more match left and 2 and 2 is a hard place to be. Put you right on the bubble. A little bit more time left in this PB Fit Carolina Crisis match. Thirty seconds. So PB Fit up five to three on Crisis. Looks like Crisis is going to switch their roster up a little bit, bringing out some different players. Uh, every team in the semi-pro bracket has a deep roster filled with former pros, up-and-coming stars, uh, semi-pro, you know, seasoned semi-pro players who've been in semi-pro bracket for for a while now. So HK Army sponsor right now. So it looks like on your screen, Crisis is going to try and push through the center. Moving all the way into the Doritos. They do lose two players, so making it right now, it looks like three bodies. Oh, they do lose another player. So I believe Fit still up five bodies. Crisis only has... I know for sure they have two bodies left. So I think it's a five on two right now in favor of PB Fit. As Crisis players walking off slow, heads down, a little dejected right now, um, not having the game they wanted. Now Crisis being one and one, they needed this point right now to go two and one on the day. But unfortunately, it looks like they might go one and two. 67, 60 seconds left in this match. Crisis needs to make something happen right now. It is go time. So Crisis doesn't know that Scott Stewart is moving to the 50-yard line brick. He's going to get the crossfield shot. Oh, an absolute demolished or side player. Give him a little extra love on the way out. Oh, great job. Great job by the snake side player. So snake side player here, number 24. Shooting Crossfield, getting getting Stewart, also trying to get another one. He does get Chavez as well. So, so jumping over the snake, number 24 for Crisis, trying to close this point out right now. They need the points differential. Colt Lukau reads the move. He's waiting for that player to move. Carolina Crisis player on the 50-yard line right now, or excuse me, the, the PB Fitz 40-yard line. Doesn't know where the bodies are, trying to shoot across. Colt Lukau, oh! So... Little one on one battle going on right now between Colt Luke out and number 24 from Crisis. Phenomenal job by Colt Luke out to hold off the push from Carolina Crisis. That will be a five to three match, putting PB Fit at one, one, and one. And A team beats Mutiny six to two. So phenomenal job here by PB Fit holding off Carolina Crisis. That'll put Carolina Crisis one and two records. So Carolina Crisis has to come out in their next match to make it big. So thank you so much, everybody, tuning, tuning in. We appreciate it again out here. 
at the Mid-Atlantic Major right outside Philadelphia. I am Vince from Let's Talk Paintball. If you haven't already, like, share, comment, follow, subscribe to all the NXL social media and Let's Talk Paintball. We have some great stuff we'll be covering today, going over. We'll be announcing our winners for the Let's Talk Paintball Tank Dangle uh, collaboration from yesterday coming up soon. So everybody stay tuned.